So there's so much confusion because you have all these engines falling over each other. And can you imagine with my proposal not just to cut the ministries? It, cutting the ministry is only a small thing, but consolidating departments and agencies, consolidating them. The amount of savings we will make alone just from consolidating departments and agencies will pay for our IMF, uh, the, what we need to pay for our creditors. So I feel that the proposals I've made with uh, uh, doing so, it is very clear. Put the private sector in charge of our energy sector and most of these problems will be resolved. Put the private sector in charge. If you go to the US, maybe Pennsylvania has a power company and they do generation distribution. You go to California, they have, it's all private sector. If you bring private sector involvement to do this, the dynamics will change. Efficiency, capital. Because why is it that we have all these intermittent power outages? Because of lack of investment in our transmission infrastructure. Government does not have the money. It would never have the money to rebuild our infrastructure. The only way is to bring in the private sector. They'll put in more money. They'll bring in the efficiency. And then you regulate how much they can take in terms of charges. And that, that's, it's, that, that's what happens everywhere in, in, uh, in, the, in, in the matured economies. Yes, thank you very much. Discussing the industrial revolution and transformation and the new agricultural revolution that I'm proposing the GDP. You know where the revenue is going to come from. Because when you are dealing with an enterprise economy, the whole economy is driven by the private sector. So you are expanding the power and the reach of the private sector. And that is where you make money. And if you read the section on taxes, I'm saying that we have to re-engineer our tax structure. Right now, Ghana makes more tax revenue from indirect taxes than direct taxes. Indirect taxes, by definition, are taxes imposed, let's say, duties from the ports. So we have piled up so much duties and taxes on, on port operations because we feel that it is easy for us to collect money. Once you import, you have to pay. But it is make the entry point. It is making our private sector uncompetitive. So we'll strip all those duties and taxes from the ports and let our private sector become competitive. If they can become competitive and they make money, then they would like to contribute and pay taxes. And that's where you expand the tax base. So there's so many that ideas about how we can expand our revenue base and not rely on the kind of taxes that we are currently relying on. So that's why I've been very bold to propose it. And at any rate, if you look at the GDP, in terms of, uh, in terms of our debt to GDP ratio, it's all very clear that this is going to be the most efficiently run economy if Alan becomes president. Then the next one is about, uh, that's a TV3 morning show, Commander. And I'm happy you brought this up because I've had the occasion to talk about this. 